Hello, hello, hello. Happy Saturday. It has been over a week. Well, maybe just one week since, no, a little over a week since I last streamed. I was on a personal family trip. And so I canceled the streams for the last week and I had a lot of fun. I was resting, rejuvenating, and now I am back, back to work and school and back to streaming The Sims. So I'm very excited to continue with my boho inspired refurbished barn whole build here. So I'm gonna jump into the game and show you what I'm talking about. So up here, we have our inspo for today. As you can see, it's pretty good. It's not the best interpretation, but I feel very proud of it. So we've got a greenhouse off to the right over here. And then we have the main part of the build here. It's obviously not gonna be as long as the one that's in the picture because I just wanted to make this like a little house. Right now we're in Granite Falls, but we are not gonna stay here. Well, the problem is you can't make this into a residential lot, so it's either gonna be a vacation rental or a like haunted house or whatever. So, um, but that's where we are. I think it's a nice spot for it. It's gonna be rotated once we're finished, but for the lighting, I just wanted to do it this way. So to take you on a tour of what I have so far, out here over on the left is every single item tagged with the boho tag here. And I've just laid them all out, except for like the plants. Of course, we'll, I feel like all plants are kind of boho. Anyways, so we have all the windows here. You come into the build. Well, maybe I'll do a little tour. I don't know. Let's see. So you walk up. Oh my goodness. It's pretty cool. We'll have to go down a little bit here for realism. Yeah, sure, let's say we're about this tall. Actually, you would probably be more like this tall. So you walk in, I haven't done the ceilings yet, but I will, don't worry. And to the right here, we have the little bathroom. It's not entirely done. I mean, it's got every basic thing it needs. I'm probably gonna put a bit more decor up. I know I have, whoops, that's not what I wanted to do. I want to go this way. I have one piece of decor up, but we need to have some more. Over here, we have a kitchen. The kitchen is, I would say, mostly done. There is some new pictures that I found on Pinterest to use as inspiration for it. And then over here we have our dining table. I love it because it's very eclectic. It has a lot of different colors. We have the tapestry here. And then over here we have a little sunken living room. So it's not too sunken. It's just about one or two. I think it's just one step down so they can still the Sims can still step down into it. We have our fireplace there that's raised, more tapestries, lots of little details, and the fun sort of colors that came with the movie hangout stuff. Um, and then lots of tall windows and window coverings here. So that is so far, whoops, a doopsie. So far, that's the build. We also have the second floor, of course, where we're going to have our bedroom, but we have not done that yet. I also want to do a little laundry situation. I think out in the back we're going to do a what is it called? Like a hand washing of the laundry. So I'll probably do that. And then out here I want to make sure we use some of these items plus some more of course. So getting back into this kitchen I think is where I want to start for today. So I'm going to pull up my Pinterest here. Okay, so if I go into my Sims Pinterest board. All right, where is it? Right, okay, there's this really cool kitchen where each of the cabinets was like a different color. I don't know if we'll be able to achieve that with these vampire ones, but we might be able to add some more fun colors elsewhere. Like maybe this isn't quite the best fridge. Let me see if I can find a slightly better fridge than this. 
Hello? Oh, right. I still have the bow thing on. I was like, what? Like, I think this one could be good because we can make it a fun color. I think we should make it yellow. And then, yeah, these only come in more natural colors, which is annoying. Hmm. Another thing is we could do this type of sink, which I might, I might do if it has a fun color. So let me just go through here. This one is tagged as boho, but like it doesn't really make sense because it's not embedded. So let's see. This one has a very similar green. This one also has a green, but the taps aren't really changing the way I'd like to. I think we'll go with that actually. Just sell this whole thing. I think that looks fun. Okay. And then the other thing is we could change the upper cabinets to be all different. Because the colors that I'm seeing in here are like red, yellow, and this teal. So if we get maybe yellow and red. Yeah, like these ones from Cottage Living could be quite nice if we mismatch them. Like maybe the Silva Dorado ones, but oh, let's see. They might be a little bit too much. Let's just have a look here. I think if we do this one here, and then we do some kind of, this is the external one. How did I do this? Oh, I remember what I had. I had the, hmm, I can do this. I had this end piece, which I guess we can get in red. And then we had this corner piece. Oh, ooh, this is good. This is good. Hold on. We can force it like this. Oh no, wait, hold on. Why doesn't it want to be nice? Here, let's move these over a little bit. And then maybe we can't use this one. We might have to use the, oh no, we, hold on, we can. We can just do it this way and move them over a little bit. Oh, that's so cute. The mouse is being annoying. There we go. This one could be a little bit shorter, though. A little bit more. Okay, perfect. I think that looks pretty nice. I'm not mad at that. I actually really like this little corner piece here because it has this adorable little plant. And this like butter dish and stuff, this coffee thing and the plate. Yeah, that looks really cute. So I definitely want to do that. We also need like a range hood or something. I mean, I guess we can't really do that because it's not really possible. Um, yeah, okay. That's okay. If we're going to do a mismatched counters though, it's going to need to look super intentional. So the good thing is we do have these different colors here. And does this have also the green? Because then we could do all three. That's tempting. Okay, what if we... Here, I'll put this one here. Put this up close. Get rid of this one. And then maybe over here... Hi, Catocalypse! How are you doing? Oh my gosh, I was just looking at your stream, um, uh, like some highlights on YouTube, this, the shorts from your horror stream. How was it? Okay, over here, let's do the corner cabinet as this one. How do you change that again? Actually, ooh, the one thing about this is that the countertops are going to be a different color. Hmm. I mean, these ones are the same, but I don't want to abandon the green thing. Oh, well. Let me see if I can, where's the corner piece? Oh, right, it also has the white. Oh, well, why don't we do that? Hold on. Does this one also have a white top version? 
It doesn't. Why doesn't it have the... <laughs> an or. Or an or. Oh, it does have this one, though. <gasps> oh. It does. It's a different green, but that's fine. You're not awake enough? That's totally fine. Um, I was just saying I saw, like, some of your shorts on YouTube and stuff, and I hope your stream went well. <laughs> okay. Oh, yeah, the corner one. Okay. Okay, this is actually going... Kind of okay so if we get the red hold on let me get rid of these and just go back to the actual one i'm looking for here packs there we go beautiful we'll get the corner one of the red it's gonna be a little patch worked in here but that's okay okay Okay, this all still fits. I mean, I didn't alt place too much of this, which is good. That was from a while ago. Decarnation, yeah, yeah. That's lovely, I'm glad you had a good stream. Um, where is the, I think we'll do yellow for this one. Yeah, we will. This looks exactly like this reference photo too, by the way. Oh, maybe I, the upper cabinets can also be different colors. Maybe this is where I tie in that darker green or something. It's gonna look a little strange. I'm not mad at it though. Okay, cute. All right, and then here we have that green there, which is nice. I'm, yeah, I think that's where I'm gonna tie that one in. Okay, and then out here, of course, I have all these million other things. Okay, so this one is a cabinet like this. Oh, but it has that weird thing on it. Is that gonna be okay? Yeah, that'll be fine. Let's do it in red though. Let's do red here on the corner. And then I don't think, so we have this guy on here. Hmm. I'll have to remember that I have this. Where am I gonna put this? Here, I'll put it in here for now. Y yes, yeah. Um. Well, I, yeah, I won't spoil it for you, <laughs> but I'm really excited about it as well. When are you streaming that to tour them? Okay, I'm also gonna do just a regular cabinet here and do it in the yellow, I think. And then the corner one is going to be in the green. We'll put this back on. And this can probably go in here. Oh, but that takes away the color of the green. I'll pull in yellow there. That'll be good. Okay, and then this needs to move as well. I can always change the color of this one, which is good. And I believe it's the same thing on the end here. Unless I put an end piece here. Hold on. Not sure yet. I was going to do the day they were due, but someone that... Okay, hey, yeah. I mean, you might as well wait for enough people to actually come and join. It would be a shame if someone had to miss it. Um, but I'll definitely be there. I will make sure I keep my eye out for that whenever that ends up happening. I think I want another red one. So let me get the red one on here. Is this end, would this end look better? Ooh, yeah, that looks good, that looks good. So put that back over here. That was fine being on the corner there, I think, but this probably should be more near the stove. Oh, because the stove was over here, that's why. All right, we'll put the stove back over here. Put this up here. I think that looks fine. Okay. And then I'd like to maybe, well, I would put some bar stools, but also like, we don't need them. We have that nice little table there. I won't review someone's bill without them being there. Gotta let them explain themselves. Yeah, hundred <laughs> percent. I'm sure some of them are really fun and really unique. So it'll always be nice to see what chat has to say. This was an end piece, wasn't it? Yeah, that was supposed to be an end piece. All right, let me do that. It's like this one, right? Ooh, that's cute. I love these little pieces. I spent 
so long on mine. I know it doesn't seem like it because I did it in like two days, but that's because it's all I did all of those two days. I just spent hours and hours doing it and I was like, okay, what if I added this? And what if I did this? So should be fun to tour, hopefully. Okay, so this actually, this kitchen looks very similar to the one that I have on my Pinterest right now, which is exciting. I definitely want more wall things. I think I'm going to look for like some knives or something. Is that how you do it? Knife? Whoa. Knickknack bar. Oh, that's funny. I don't think I've seen this item before. Okay, anyways, back to knives. Yeah, something like this would probably be good. Um, we'll put it up here above the thing. I was shocked, but from the thumbnail, it looked good. <laughs> Thanks. I'm excited. It's a little community center, so it should be a fun place if anyone wanted to download it to their game. I might actually keep it, to be honest. I didn't think I'd be able to do anything with that shape, but honestly, like, it kind of did come together. Maybe I'll do a blue one of these. That looks cute. Okay, so we have the cutting board. We have the bread thing, the tea. Beautiful. Okay, I think that's like all of these. Actually, is there another thing of herbs on the wall? I think there is. Decorations. It's got to be in like wall sculptures probably. I always forget what pack it's from. It's not the Realm of Magic one. I already have that one. It's specifically like another thing. Oh, here it is. Here it is. This is the one. If you have Batu, they have a good one. I don't have Batu. I feel like I'm going to get it when it goes on sale at some point in my life because I've heard great things about the build mode items. Where is this? Hmm. The problem is this doesn't really fit anywhere right now. Maybe I put it there. I mean, that probably looks okay there. Let's see what colors they have. I definitely am down to get Batu. I know the community has mixed emotions about it, but it's fine. I mean, it's, it is what it is. <laughs> I feel like there's far more egregious things that EA has done generally, so. Okay, well, that's pretty fun. Let's we'll see if there's any more kitchen clutter we can get because I think like wall art is gonna be a good idea. That looks okay. Well, that's going to be hard to see, but like sh there probably should be some stuff up here. I can't decorate without it. The gameplay isn't shoved in the face. You get one call. Yeah, honestly, like I don't know why everyone hates it with such vehemence. I, I think it's probably fine. I, I love the I've seen a lot of the build mode items. I think they are really cool. I actually just watched another Sims streamer. Um, build an entirely Batu and base game build because she was doing like single pack, whatever restricted builds. And it was like shockingly good. I was like, you can do a lot of cool industrial things with that stuff. It's like circular bar is really fun. So yeah, if it goes on sale, I'm definitely going to get it. I think we should have these sort of like tree things somewhere in this build as well. Also, under this, I did not realize that there was a swatch that actually had records on it. And I was searching for this kind of thing for so long, and I didn't realize that this was here in the... Is it university, or is this the other one? I think it's in high school years. Yeah, high school. That's so cool. A lot of sculpture and wall art. Oh, yep, yep, yep. That makes sense. I kind of want some of those. Oh, you know what? I should go into debug because unless it's not here, but I'm trying to find the plates that you can get. I think it's with parenthood. Hold on. Maybe I'll just go straight to parenthood then and see if they have, have it at all because they have some really cute decorative plates. Okay, maybe it's not in this one. I mean, that's cute too. Maybe it's under live edit. Really? Decorations? It'd be in these. Oh no, okay. Oh no, it is here! The decorative collectible plate. Oh, it's not even a debug item. What am I saying? Okay, um, but I think these would be perfect. We can get these all over the place. I'm probably just gonna... Hmm. I'm gonna have to move objects, though. That's okay. 
All right, let's get those up here somewhere. Oh, those look so cute. Oh my gosh, I could have so many different plates up there. Let's get, let's see. This one I know is like the default one, but it's probably still cute. I just know so many grannies that have like a million of these kinds of plates. What else do they have? Oh, this one's perfect. This one looks like it would go on top of the fridge. I'm gonna do that one on top of the fridge. Hopefully it doesn't like stick through. It kind of sticks through, but if we pull it forward like that, it should be totally fine. Oh, it's so cute. That's awesome. I love this item. This is actually kind of perfect for this kind of build. Hold on, let me move this. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, everything's in the way. Hold on. Da -da -da -da. I'll pull it up here. Okay, cute. It doesn't have to be perfectly symmetrical or anything. I kind of just want it to be a little disorganized. Let's get some more wall art in. Get off parenthood. We don't need that. I want to have, well, something like this could be interesting. What's this one again? These are all very specific season things, though. It's the problem. Maybe just some of these kind of deals. We got a blue one. Oh, it could frame this. Okay, hold on. We're doing that. We're going to do this and we're going to do that. That looks cute. Okay, what else? Oh, one of these might be really good. We could do a white one. Actually, we'll go up a level probably. Just start putting stuff on these walls. I'm going to put as much as possible within reason. <laughs> Because I feel like for this kind of build, it would make the most sense to have a lot of fun little things all over the walls. Like these. Oh my gosh, these would so be on the walls in the living room. I might have to figure out a place for those. Hold on. I'll put them on my wall of things that I want to include. This one too. Anything macrame was going to be perfect for this build. We'll have to save some for the bedroom though as well that's up in this loft here. Okay. Unfortunately, when you tag Boho, it actually doesn't come up with everything you would think it would. But I'm sure I'll find some good stuff. I wish this had a swatch that wasn't actually in the glass. But I guess that's kind of asking for too much. I don't want to do anything that you would have to... Oh, why is that so small? Can we size it up? Oh yeah, we can. I like these kinds of things. I want to try to find the one that's just the straight up sun, like the most generic one that you can get. Mm -hmm. This thing is so fun. I always thought this looked like a Ritz cracker. Maybe that's just me. Okay, I also want to do, <laughs> kind of, or something like that. Like, what other, there's like a cookie that kind of looks like that. Yeah. It's so pretty. I've never found a use for it, because it's just like a very, very specific thing. I mean, it does have different colors. Um, but unless you're literally building, like, an Indian restaurant, it's kind of not really much of a use for it, which is fine. Yeah, it's good to have diversity in our objects. Okay, this thing is not really the vibe oh oh maybe one of these type of deals i could see someone i could see this person having this kind of thing no oh yes the sun here it is is silver good i think i want to stick with gold theme i think that looks good we'll try to like mismatch all these a little bit We might have to double up on some of these decorations. We'll definitely have another tapestry somewhere. Probably like, a, mm, this side has to have stuff too. This would be it for the kitchen. I feel like you could have at least 
sort of got a ladder in here to get these things up, but I don't think you'd be able to get much higher, to be honest, so I might stick with that. This thing we'll keep as well. I did want to keep these dishes, or put these dishes somewhere, so maybe I'll put that down here as well. Or maybe in here. Ugh, there goes the camera. Yeah, I think this would work well in here. Maybe they've got a gold swatch. This one has pink plates? I've never noticed that. I didn't realize the plates would have changed color. That's so cute. Okay, well, I'm definitely doing that. That's adorable. As for here, this this isn't really speaking to me. Like, I don't love the way that this fireplace looks, but there's not really one that would work otherwise. I mean, like, maybe this one. Yeah. Eh, that's okay. I'll put something up there. I always thought this was weird that this was in the sculpture section and not like the rug section it's like the bottom of the pool thing i don't know what are you thank you so much for popping in see you next time have a good rest of your day okay we can definitely add some like pots somewhere too like maybe in the corner here we just size one down and like have it vibing there I think that's cute. What color can we do? That's so cute with the little flowers around it. Oh my god, we have to use like every single one of these swatches. What if we just stack a bunch? <laughs> no. But I do want to include more of those. Where else can we do that? I guess we'll do a lot of those in the little greenhouse once we get to it. I wonder if maybe we do something in the back here so people don't try to climb up this direction. Maybe we can have like one of these sort of um, partition things almost. Not that these are the real partitions. I actually just don't know where they are, but I'm sure we'll find it. This hand has got to be in here somewhere. Maybe we'll put it over here. Let's see. That's cute. That's cute. I'll put this in as well. Definitely think gnomes are going to be a thing that we're going to have on the outside. What an odd piece. I don't know how I'd use that if it's unfinished. The Grim Reaper. The Grim... Don't fear the Regnomper. The re oh my gosh. The re gnome per because gnome. It's not gna. The re re gnome per. Oh, it's supposed to be don't fear the reaper. <laughs> oh my god, that's so funny. Once known as Steve, the re Renomper has taken it upon himself to wander the land, searching for the unwanted, the broken, and the discarded gnomes of the Lawnverse. Those he finds, he takes back to his home, where he grinds them up, allowing them to find a new recycled existence as a toilet, shower, or potting soil. I, I don't think I've ever read that item description. That's so weird. What? Grim Reaper... Then re re no, gnome per. Yeesh. Okay. Well, that's something. <laughs> okay. Anyways. Oh, we can definitely do one of these guys somewhere. It's kind of like a cross between a country and a boho home because I mean, there's not that much of the boho thing, unfortunately. So I'm just gonna keep putting out items that I think will be nice. Oh yeah, we're definitely having a lot of flower cart type things. A little pergola, trellis sort of situation. Very cute. This thing for sure, I think. Probably this one. I mean, I love these kinds of pots and vases and whatnot. I think those are really nice. That could work somewhere. Maybe we hide a little baby Yoda somewhere. 
That'd be cute. Nah, I'm just playing. What is this? Oh, the surfboard sign. That's nice. Ooh, that's pretty. I'm gonna just save that for myself. I don't think I've ever used that one. I don't usually look this deeply into the statues category, to be perfectly honest. Mostly because it's not useful things, but, you know. Okay. Let's go back to some smaller things. We'll see if we can get some more kitchen clutter in. Like, what is this? Spice box duo. Well, I'm sure we can stick that back there somewhere. Hmm. That's cute. Does that have any other colors is the question? Oh, yeah, it does. Cute. All right. I mean, we have ample spices now. Oh, this might be good. I might just actually put that up in here. Hmm. It's probably going to be floating a little bit, but I might just turn a cheeky blind eye to that. Uh, it's like maybe sort of floating, but like not really. Oh yeah, that looks, that looks fine. That's fine. I also don't have tool mod and I don't know how to use tool mod even if I did have it, so. You know. It is what it is. That kind of blends in nicely. Whoops. That looks good. I'm just going to take a quick, I don't know, five minute break right now. And I will be right back.
I am back. I am back. Okay, so another thing I want to add is this unassuming bucket. Because it's got some cute swatches that I think would match really nicely, like this green one. I don't know where I'm going to put it. I feel like it would fit in the kitchen, though. You know what? I might have a well outside. I might do that. So I'm going to put that out there. Dog treats and cat treats. Oh, you know what? Maybe we should add a dog or a cat in this build. That might be really cute. We'll add the dog treats. Oh, hold on. We should add them like on top of the fridge, like hiding back here. Hold on, that looks kind of silly. They're like half in it. Go up one more. Shouldn't be floating too badly. And if it is, you didn't see anything. Oh, that's so cute with the little stuff on it. Oh my God, that's precious. Okay. Got some little treaties, which is adorable. I feel like, what else would go in here? This kind of thing, probably. This thing is definitely going to have to go in my laundry room. A cornucopia. That's so cute. Hold on, I'm putting that up here. Surely that would go on like a mantle. Right? Maybe? How badly is that floating? Hold on. Ooh, it's kind of floating a lot. Oh, you know, it doesn't look so bad. A little bit clipped into it. That's, that's fine. It's fine. Okay, what else? Hmm, we got the bucket. What's this? Craft collection. No, we don't need that. Is this paper towels? We could do. Yeah, that could look cute. We still have a lot of chopping up space, I'm pretty sure. So I think we can kind of get away with this. Maybe this goes here. Is there another color of this though? There is. Oh, and there's a green one with a little squirrel. Oh, I love that. That's so cute. Okay. We do have already a dish rack. Does that one look better? No, the blue one's fine. I think the blue one's nice. We have our cooking utensils there. I don't think we need a pile of crates, but like you just never know. So I'm gonna put them over there. More pots and pans. I might throw these under here if we can, hold on. I think this is the perfect spot. So move them over to about there. Oh, it's clipping through. Okay, not in that one then. What if we put it over here somewhere? In the corner cabinet. The corner cabinet looks like it has more room, so I'm gonna move that. All right, so we'll do it up two. And just see how that looks. Okay, back a little bit more. Eensy bit more and maybe turn it. So I'm gonna turn on the Sims 3 camera. Does that fit? I don't know why I'm being so particular about this. <gasps> it does! That's so cute! Oh my gosh, I love it. Okay, I love that. Okay, little pots and pans under there. Is there another color? Oh, well, there is. Let's do those ones. That's fun. Does this have a better color? Maybe we do a, a pink one. Let's do a pink one. All right, that's precious. I love it. This is this is coming along quite well. It's looking like a really nice little cluttered kitchen here. I'm very happy about it. I might have to do. I might have to do a sans table. Hold on. Actually, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna go through all this first and make sure I don't miss much this here as well got lots of little things that's for sure this thing could be cute somewhere maybe we'll put that in the back there that matches really nicely perfect not that I expected much less 
cookie jar I think I'd like to put above here because that's cute. Is it floating? I can't tell. It's not. It's fine. One of these magazine racks needs to go down here for sure. Nope, that's not what I meant to do. Like this would so absolutely go right here. If I was sitting in this place, I would 100% be snooping out of this. Let's do a nice, oh, it blends in with the floor a little bit. Let's do the blue. I'm trying to get as much color as we can here. I don't think any children are gonna live here. It won't really fit properly. Oh, geez. Whoa. I think I'm feeling inspired to make a build by this, uh, inspired by this thing. Anyways, that's good to know for another time. What else we got? Definitely want these things, which I think I already put over here. Hello, please recharge. How are you doing tonight? Okay, so, oh yeah, I didn't put them out. I want to put these in somewhere. What are you saying, K2? The big ship that I just had up here? This thing? This is like a debug item, and I'm feeling inspired to build a ship just like that. I feel like it'd be cool. It wouldn't work, but it'd be cool. Ooh, you know what we need? We need one of these guys. Yeah, screw this thing. We don't need that. I want one of these. Oh yeah, that's definitely more the vibe. Queso dip. I like cheese. We need cheese. Well, if I had cheese, I'd put it here. But we don't. Actually, do we? You can't see, but there's like... This is called the Swiss cheese plant. And this is the cheese wheel light. That's the best you're gonna get? <laughs> what in the world? Hold on. Cheese in... What would you put in hot queso at this very moment? Like to enhance the dip or to eat with? Because I would use a tortilla chip dipped in it to eat. Or, I don't know, I'm boring. I just, okay, yeah, just a tortilla chip then. Because I, I wouldn't add anything to queso. Celery? Uh, I feel like it'd be weird because celery to me is like a cold only item. Well, that's not true. It's in soup and stuff, but like cold celery and then hot queso feels like it would be a weird contrast. So like maybe a carrot, if anything, because that's the only thing I dip things with, like hummus and whatnot. That's kind of how I feel about that. Okay, back to decorations. What would you dip? What would you dip? I think I was down here somewhere. Oh yes, I was. This is cute. You would dip a jalapeno popper. Hello, Heisenberg. Um, thank you for the first time chat. Um, what's up? Nothing much. I am building a like boho inspired farmhousey thingy. That's great, I'm glad you're doing great. What would you put in hot queso? I'm, we're all we're all dying to know. This set of pots and pans is also very cute. Hmm. The game's going well. I've been streaming for about 45 minutes and I'm just building away. I mean, right now it's it's gonna look a little weird because it's not quite finished yet, but it's going pretty good. Yeah. We're vibing. Oh, this bin is so cute. You're watching this game for the first time? That's hilarious. I am not the best example of the best Sims streamer, but I love The Sims 4. I basically build in it, and I also play in it. This isn't like how you play the game, technically, because there is a gameplay mode. Right now I'm just building, but... <laughs> Minecraft and Texas Chainsaw. Those are two vastly different styles of game 
I love that for you. I have played Minecraft before. I have not played Texas Chainsaw, though, I will say. I can see this thing also being useful, so I'm going to put that over there as well. Texas Chaincraft. <laughs> Silly. Okay, well, I think that's a good start. Now I can start moving in. Do I stream daily or what's... Okay, so my stream schedule right now is... Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, today on Saturdays, it's 4 p.m. EST. And then Sunday and Tuesday is 7 p.m. EST. So that's what I do. There are some really good daily streamers. They stream earlier than I do. Um, but yeah, that's where I am right now. Okay, what's this thing? Oh, it's like a little picnic basket. I just got this pack, so I haven't really played with it a whole lot. It's so cute. All right, well, that's the kitchen mostly done there. Okay, so going back to these items here, what else can we add in? Maybe we move on to the laundry room that I wanted to do. I think the little this little space to eat in is probably fine. I assume we'd have to do the laundry somewhere over here as well. Sorry. I'm just seeing that I have some dropped frames now, but hopefully the, the game is going fine on stream right now. I think I'll build a little laundry room, at least to mirror what I have going on in here. Probably a bit smaller. Oh no, hold on. We were gonna do one of the um, the buckets outside. Hmm. Okay, let me go into the laundry stuff. No, that's not electronics. Uh, what am I looking for? Hold on. Well, I appreciate um, your belief in me. <laughs> I also hope I get lots of followers one day. Um, but right now I'm just having a fun time. Oh, this is so cute. Right, I forgot that Eco Lifestyle also has like a little laundry thing. We might have to include that. The wash tub is what I was looking for. What do you call this? Okay, wash tub, old, old Timmy's wash tub. That's nice. Okay, we'll do an outdoor clothesline as well. Maybe, do I do the wash tub indoors? Is that weird? Maybe I'll just have a little section sectioned off. Oh, oh, do I have a door here? I don't yet, but I could put another exterior door here. Oh no, but I have the exterior door there, that's fine. How about I just have the washing out here? Um, I don't have a Discord yet for this channel. Um, if I make affiliate, I'll make a Discord, but yeah, it's just my personal one, so I'm not gonna share that. Okay, so this one I think we go with yellow to tie in that yellow, green, and red that we're doing sort of in the kitchen there. I'll probably put some regular tiles. Where am I putting these? Actually, what kind of tiles would be outdoors? Like that's kind of the, the basic traditional one. I assume it could be the same as the inside of the greenhouse in there if I find the, a good one. Oh, this one could be cute. I think that fits the vibe really well. Is that what I chose in the... Um... Oh, no, I didn't. I chose this one for the bathroom. Well, that's okay. This looks really good here. So I'll actually do that. Okay, yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and then maybe just border it with a bit of a fence. Yeah, honestly, Heisenberg, if you look at my um, about me section down below the stream, it should have my uh, YouTube, which is basically the only other thing that I'm doing right now. So that's it, just my YouTube and Twitch right now. Okay, what kind of fence do I wanna do? 
Probably just this little tiny low-lying one. The only problem is like, there's not really any separation because I didn't put this on a foundation yet, which is my own fault. But let me see if there's a better swatch of this. I can just make this like a normal wood. Okay. Hold on. There it is. There we go. Get this back again. I may, I, like I said, I'll make a discord when I reach affiliate. I'm not really too worried about that right now. Is this big enough to be a whole washing area? I think it is. I mean, this has a really small little area to it. And then back here we could have, well, okay, hold on. Technically this whole thing is going to be moved. So let me just do that right now. So I can move it this way. Um, this is approximately where it's going to go. And then this, oops, hold on. This thing will be out in the back and then I don't know why there's still tiles there. Oops, that's fine. It's good to know though that when you build a room it doesn't delete the tiles from below it. Like I did not know that. Hold on, it just deleted my windows. What's going on? What happened? Hello? Did it delete my windows? It did. Oh, well, that's strange. Okay. Well, I'll make sure to keep these for now because I don't want to lose them. Maybe I have to do deletion protection or something. Okay, well. Ugh. Okay, this is really annoying. Give me a fucking read. Okay. I can't, I don't know why I can't flip this whole thing. It's very annoying. Oh, you know what? Maybe I can, hold on. Let me do the whole thing just like this. Wait, what am I deleting? Ooh. That's fine. That's fine. Eh, it's not where I want it to be. <laughs> okay, wait, wait, wait. I can do this. I can do this. Let me make this a room. And everything should be contained within it. Let's just move this whole thing back. Oh no, it's too big. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Let's put it here. And then we'll move this whole thing up to the front here. No, no, my windows, my windows. <laughs> Why are they doing that? Okay, okay. Eh, that's fine, I guess. Okay, so now we can move this whole thing. Just put it here. And then we can move this back a little bit more. Oh no, no, it's gonna move my... <laughs> Please don't move my windows again. Well, move my windows again, but we saw that coming. Okay, where's the other one then? Is it just like floating in here somewhere? Hello? I... <sighs> Bruh. <laughs> Why was it in the roof? It's fine, things fine. Totally normal. Don't really know why this window is not attaching to the roof, but it isn't. Anyways, okay, so let's just delete these walls. No, not remove floor, I wanna remove the wall. Nope, remove the floor please. So now it's not a room anymore, which is good. And now, yes, these things are still all in the way, but like, that's fine. I can move at least a few of them. We're probably not gonna use every single one of these items, but it's fine. So now for the, let's just go into laundry day actually, because that's probably the best way to get all of it. 
and grab the clothesline again. I'm sure we can get a yellow one to match. There we go, perfect. I feel like this is probably gonna like go back here somewhere, but all the stuff is in the way right now, so it is what it is. Okay. Do I, the question is, do I make a full pathway actually back here? I already have put in some, like as you can see, I have a platform situation happening in here where I have a sunken living room. So if I put it up on a foundation, I don't think it's gonna work. Oh God, I'm so worried. What did that do? I don't think that deleted anything. Hi, Dr. Dubs. No, you didn't miss the stream. I've just only started, well, okay. I started an hour ago, but that's okay. I'm gonna still stream for a while. Okay, there we go. That looks not so bad. This is still being weird. Okay, beautiful. So now that it's on a bit of a foundation, I can actually go ahead and add some stairs and stuff. Okay, this does not need to go all the way up there. Hopefully that's a little bit better there. And then I can bring this out. Okay. Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Well, I don't know why it extended the wall, but that's fine. It didn't move the window or anything, which is good. It also didn't delete my wall there, which is fun. Okay, so I'm gonna just remove the fence then, because now I don't really need that separation if it's gonna be on a foundation. I'll probably pull it out just one more. Now as for the foundation, I'm thinking we do, oops, let's get rid of laundry day there. What kind of foundation would this be on? I feel like it'd be on something metal or stone. Doesn't really go with those tiles, but I think I could do it for this part. This main part here. Do we have like a normal, no, not white. Maybe a black, ooh, no, that's a little too dark. Maybe that one's the best one. That's probably good. So that's that for most of that. And then over here, I think for the greenhouse, we're gonna have one of these kinds of things where we just have a light, a light brown that has sort of that hatching at the bottom, I think would be good. And then for this one, we're gonna need some kind of something like this. This actually might be perfect. Is there another color? Yeah, that's kind of perfect. Okay, great. So we'll have the washing there, and then this can be, like, here or something. I don't know. We'll have to see. I'll probably extend it out just a little bit more, too. You can always add, like, some, some kind of awning or something. Okay. So for the front, though, we're going to need to have some stairs now. The question is, do I put a little platform out here, or do I just do the stairs straight up to this? My week has been really good. I was actually traveling, so I have been gone from streaming for about a week. But now I am back and I am, oh no, my, my windows are gonna be deleted. Ugh. Anyways, yeah, I'm back and I'm having a good time. Work was fine this week and everything. How was your week? I'm just gonna do a little bit like that, I think. And then probably use these kinds of stairs. They seem like they would be fun for this place. And then I'll probably snag the exact same tile that I did back here. Okay, cute. We'll do, mm, yeah, probably the same stairs. The stairs are kind of cute. Do we change the color though? Oh, these ones are pretty. That's cute. Okay, I'll definitely do that. Your week was okay? Well, I'm glad to hear it. Hope next week is even more than okay. All right, I think this looks like really precarious, but I don't really know what to do about that. 
Like, I guess I could pull it out another one. It just seems weird that your sim would have to, like, walk. You know what? Maybe we do it this way. And then we have them wash it, like, up here. And then if we just grab the Sims 3 camera, we can just rotate this on, like, sort of a more interesting angle. Ooh, okay. Get, get me back to the Sims 4. Thank you. And then that looks a bit better. And then, you know what? I think the problem is that there's no fence yet to maybe make this feel a little bit less like you just fall off. I mean, it's not that high, so it's not that big of a deal, but I think it's probably still a good idea to have a little bit of a fence of some kind. So for that, what can we do? This is such a low fence. There's kind of almost no point. Hmm. What can we do? I'm trying to find something that would suit the vibe. I mean, I guess this is technically the matching fence to that, um, stairs that we had earlier but it's a little bit much so i'm not gonna do that i think this would definitely be like a wooden fence situation question is what kind of wooden fence like what looks like a railing hmm uh decisions Maybe just the Seasons one, actually. I mean, that looks fine. Yeah, that's probably fine. And then instead of having stairs going anywhere else, we'll just have stairs going off, like, one of the edges. We'll grab these ones here. Again, do sort of, like, three wide or so. Yeah, that's cute. Okay. That's starting to come together. We'll definitely have like a full backyard, so not to worry about that. And then of course we have our nice greenhouse too. So that one's not quite finished either. The side of this looks so bad, but <laughs> there's not much I can do. I might add a bunch of ivy on this side actually, just to make it look a little less terrible. Like some of these kind of things. Yeah, you know what? Let's do that. Ooh, I never used this other one. Maybe I used the lighter one today. Okay, we'll start with that. And we'll use some of these guys. And then these ones kind of fall right nicely in between as well. Wish these were a little bit less square, but you know, it is what it is. Oops. I'll open something else by accident. The lighting is not great on this side of the building, but you get the gist. Just want to make it a little bit more of a smooth transition. I have to add some other ones in from some other packs and stuff. Add these coming out the sides and stuff like that. Maybe get over the window a little bit. These don't really come in other colors. I mean, they do, but like, not really. Like, this one could be cool. We'll also add window flower boxes, I think. Just trying to figure out which ones to use is the thing. Hmm. Decisions, decisions. Like, we could definitely use the stuff from Cottage Living. I, ugh, this lighting is so bad. I can't even see. I guess morning is sort of better. Hmm. Maybe if we just do some like of these at the bottom, like these really massive ones. I'm gonna have to do some like actual bushes along the bottom too. Yeah, that looks okay. Maybe also we put like a, a trellis here on purpose almost. Is there a taller one? Oh yeah, there's a tall one. Well, no, that looks kind of silly. Not this one. Plants being everywhere is definitely like something that I wanted to do though, so I don't mind this little diversion here. 
I don't really want to do wisteria. It's not quite the right vibe. But definitely these ivy ones. Okay, so then down here, any plans for Memorial Day? Is that this weekend? I don't know what that means. I always forget what that means. Oh, it's like the military thing. Um, well, no, I'm Canadian. <laughs> yeah, so um, actually last weekend I had a three-day weekend, which is why I was on a bit of a break. So it was called Victoria Day, where we celebrate our old Queen Victoria. Oh, it's our Remembrance Day. No way, you guys don't have Remembrance Day in November? Oh, that's so interesting. Anyways, yeah, no, I don't have any plans for, for this weekend. Do you have any plans? I know that you guys have like a bit more of a celebration around it, I guess, and like more days off or something. I'm not quite sure how that all works, but... What else can we use? I know there's a really good, what's my favorite thing? I want to favorite this thing, I think, because it's just so perfect. There we go. Little Simsy taught me how to do that. And then you fill this in with more of the, the bushes that you want. So then we go into flowers and then we just grab like a bunch of these little guys, put them around the edges, maybe with some different colors. And then you can put the bigger ones, bigger shrubs in as well. Three day weekend. Okay. Nice. Well, sometimes it's nice to just have a couple days off. You don't need to have anything specific planned. And then you can just sort of see what happens. Ooh, these little things look good. What else should we do? Oh, we should, should have more of these. Oh, maybe one of these would have been better. Well, I'll put that there. Move this out. Maybe I can add another one of these guys. I'm trying to just make it look like it makes sort of sense. I want it to look very overgrown, but not in like a gross way, in like a nice way. Okay, cute. And probably add some more of these things like going up here. Is there a smaller one? Maybe in the cottage living debug we can find something. Where is it? Cottage living. And then if we go and search by debug perchance. Debug. This could be promising because they have some really interesting things in here. No, it's not debug, it'd be live edit, my bad. Yeah, these kinds of things. So this would go in like the corner. Ooh. That could look really cool. My only issue is that it's probably gonna come through the walls in here. So it's about like reducing the amount that it comes in the wall. Can I go like this? <gasps> Whoa. Oh, that's so pretty. Oh my God, that's perfect. Okay, definitely we'll do that. We'll also do this along the bottom here so you can't see it as much. Oh yeah, this is the way to go. Oh my God, that looks so perfect. Okay, great. There's also these beautiful lights that go in a tree. What are th What is this? Oh, that's cute. Okay, I might keep that as well. What else we got? This is a very pretty flower. I'll put that in there. Why not? Okay, well, I think that at least like helps cover that part of it. I'll probably do some more around the front as well. So let me go back up here, get another one for this corner. Have I played any survival games? Well, I guess it depends on what you mean by survival games because like technically The Sims could be considered a survival game. Uh, um, survival game. Do you mean like something like Dead by Daylight? I'm not exactly sure what an example of that would be so i'm kind of just guessing i have so played minecraft i just sort of barely played it <laughs> um technically i have played minecraft i just didn't purchase it so i was just testing it out whether or not i liked it and 
I if I was to play that game, I would likely play it on the not scary mode because I'm scared of the little zombie guys. So if that answers your question. <laughs> I'm a little bit of a wuss. I think they're fun to watch. I really like watching people stream them because they are far better at that kind of stuff than I am. But uh, no, I have not played them personally. Do you play those kinds of games? Another one of these over here. Okay, I think that looks pretty good. I always kind of forget what some of these look like. Ooh, that's pretty. Maybe I'll put like a purple something. You play it sometimes? That's cool. What are you? Those are like such a... Hold on. This texture is terrible. They're literally completely two-dimensional. Oh my god. Okay, let's just... Let me just compare this to something that we just got recently. Okay, well, there's nothing apparently that came recently. Hold on. What's my most recent pack? Let me let me filter. Let me tell you. Let me let me show you something. Growing together is the most recent pack that I have. And let me tell you how much better some of these plants are. Not that one. <laughs> Decorations, plants. Like, look at the difference on some of these. This is not two dimensional at all. Like this is gorgeous and has three dimensions. This is pretty. That's just sad. Anyways. There's so many good things too, that's the thing. Like I, I know they have the capability of making really amazing plants. And then when they do stuff like that, I'm like, bruh. And then also, like, this is debug and it's a better texture. I don't know. 2014 was a scary time for The Sims, to be honest. I should probably also playtest this to make sure a sim can actually come in and out of this door now that I've, like, completely blocked it off. But I think it should be okay. Okay, well, that's, like, a good start on the landscaping. Like, I'll obviously do a lot more, so I'm not too worried about it. Also, yes, I know that this is green and then this is the brown, but that's what the reference photo looks like, so don't come for me. Okay. So back indoors here. Oh, right, I was going to do laundry room and then I realized it was going to be outside. So then what is going to go in this little corner here? I guess we'll just have like a nice little sitting room or like place where you can put your coat or something. I'm not actually sure what would go in here. So we have our dining room there. We have our nice living room here. We'll have the greenhouse there. We have a bathroom. We have the kitchen. So yeah, this is just kind of a miscellaneous area. I think I was saying last time that I wanted this to be like a skill building area. So maybe I'll go back into the activities and skills and just see what I can find. So, oh, you know what? We can make this like a yoga area. Although I think we can fit that upstairs. We don't really need that. We could do chess, as usual. That's a pretty classic Sims move, is just to put a chess table. Probably like, well, maybe not that one. Maybe this one would work. I think there's some other colors. Yeah, they have a light one of that. We could also do... Hmm. Oh, we could put like a piano. Maybe we put a piano, that might be nice. Let's see. So we have a flower arranging table. I think I'll put that. Oh, we already put that in there. My bad. Painting. We could do. It's not the best place to paint, but like, you know, I can imagine it. A guitar I feel like we definitely need in here. Like, especially a guitar like this that has stickers all over it. I feel like that's really fun. There's colorful ones. Oh, okay. That one's good. I like that one. Woodworking, again, I feel like is an outdoor activity. And then we have some photography and stuff. That's not really going to work. This is what I was thinking, though. This kind of upright piano. Oh, that looks so cute. I love this item so much. I think the upright piano is definitely speaking to me here. I don't think we need a bar. You know, I we could get some workout equipment or like something like that, but eh. eh. 
Nah. I don't know. It doesn't seem like the right vibe. Like, I don't think this person would have workout equipment. They'd just probably go for a run. And then all this gardening stuff is gonna go in the, um... What's it called, anyway? Nursery? Greenhouse. Same thing. Oh, we were gonna do cats and dogs! Right, okay, okay, okay. Don't worry, I will not forget to put a cat in here somewhere. Let me remind myself with something. Um... Where do you, here, I'll put this in here so I don't forget. And I'll be in plain sight. But for now, we'll do this little area here. So I think, even though this is technically like a little cabinet, cabinet, counter that you'd want to sit at, I think I can put the piano right there and it'll be fine. And then maybe we do, I'm going to move all this. We can still fit this somewhere, maybe like here. And then grab some of these interesting sort of chairs. Again, every chair I feel has to be mismatched because that's just part of the fun. Do we have that one? We do not. Not yet, anyway. Then this one. I like the look of the wicker, but I also like this kind of chair. So I'm going to try to find one that works here. One's green. That's cute. We don't have that over here. Okay, and then we just like do a little bit of this, something like that. That should still work fine. For the piano here, there is a couple of different options. There's some plain ones. Oh, this one's perfect. That's so the vibe of this place. Very cute. Okay, yeah, I'm definitely doing that one. Above it, we're gonna need some stuff. What are we gonna need? Uh, artwork. Put that piece of art there. We also need, oh, hold on. I remember I had all these like stuff for laundry somewhere. It's gonna have to kind of go inside though is the thing. Maybe I just, hmm. Can I fit that in here? Let's see. If I put this here, does he? Do these go together? I feel like these are meant to kind of go together. Like it, oh, oh. No, that's gonna block your way up. Which one's better to have? I feel like they're both such good items. Maybe I'll try to fit in both. I'll definitely try to fit in both. Maybe this one can go, hmm. The problem is these windows are so in the way. Um, I'm thinking. We have so much wall space and yet like so little. We might have to move this tapestry or something. Or maybe we can just do these both stacked. The problem is there's these little hangers there so it doesn't really make sense. But I guess we could kind of do it. So these ones I feel like would go on top because they have less to, like you'd have to reach this plant to water it more frequently. So I feel like it'd be like that. Oh, you know, can we just get it over the door? Is it okay? Would that be a weird thing? I mean, you're, oh. <laughs> why is this so hard? Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep this one for upstairs, I think. I'll deal with that later. I definitely wanna fit at least one of these in down here, but I think we can't do two. So I'm gonna put this one here and then I'll change the color to yellow. Matches with the rest of the set and doesn't interfere as much, so that's not too bad. Okay. And then back to stuff. So we wanted to have the guitar in here. Guitar can go there. This little thing for your coat and stuff can go here. Actually, that kind of probably works well because then you can also hang up your coats there too. Oops, don't need to grab that. So that's probably okay. Okay, and then we'll make this one this color there. Okay, we're gonna have to get rid of all these lights. These are just placeholders. It's gonna be so dark. 
but we really have to figure out how we're doing lights in this build. Okay, well I assume that you'd have like some big sort of chandelier situation. So let me see if I can do that real quick. Lighten up this space before I finish off the entryway. Okay, what would I have? Oh yes, right. This thing. This canopy of light would be really good, I think. Because it doesn't actually hang down that low and if we do like a bunch of them, it could look really neat. Oh yeah, like that I feel like that's a really cool idea. Okay, so I'll put this here for now. How do I spell <laughs> I the hell you spell chandelier, chandelier. Ooh, fancy pants, rich McGee over here. <laughs> I don't know if you've been on that side of TikTok to anyone watching, but um, that's where my TikTok is right now. And I find it hilarious. Oh, there's such cool colors. Whoa. Oh, we're so doing that. Let's do like a bunch of different ones. Okay, there we go. And then this one here. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. This one here. Okay, this one will be purple. Oh my gosh, these could match their themes. Oh, this is so awesome. I don't know why I'm getting so excited over this because it probably will look terrible, but like, I feel like it just kind of works because you're not going to see it from the lower level, but it just kind of looks fun. Okay, now over here we can get like the pink one in. Just get this back, here we go. This is so funny, okay. So we get these over here, which maybe is a little bit much, but I don't care. And then we'll do pink. And we'll do this one here. And then we'll do, oh, that one's so pretty. It's so pretty. Okay, okay, we'll do that. These are really close side by side one another. So maybe I do just like this one or something. Oh my God, that is hilarious. I love it. It's so extra. Hold on. If we do this. <gasps> Ooh, hold on, hear me out, hear me out. I got an idea. How's this working? Are those in the same height? They should be. Okay, if I drew a beam up here with a fence, it could look really cool. It could look like, well, a beam. All right, let me let me see if I can draw this. Is this where I want it to be? No, it's not. It's like up here. Yes, it's like these ones here almost. Is that it? I'd want them to go all the way to... Actually, I can make them go all the way across. Why not? And then there's kind of one... Oh, you can't put it in the middle. Ooh. Well, what if I just did it all the way along? I'll just do it all the way along and then it'll look fine. Oops. Trust me, it's going to look really cool once I put the ceiling on. Okay, and then, hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. Ceiling, the same as the floor. This could look really cool. I hope it worked. Okay, okay, okay. Now, if we tab in, oops, not zoom in, we wanna go down. And we wanna just go all the way up. <gasps> Whoa, okay, I need to lower them. I need to lower them, but that's the vibe. That's so cool. 
Oh my god, I'm actually like... Okay, well, I don't know where my beams went. They're gone. But I still think it looks cool. Okay, hold on. What happened to my beams? Hello? Wait a minute. It's because... Oh... Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let's try this again. Okay, we gotta go in. It's so slow. Hold on. We go down. Oh my gosh! This is so cool! Okay, okay. Now it kind of looks weird because, like, you can't paint the underside of the roof. But could you imagine if you had this, like, window... Oh, shoot. Oh my god, I can't see. The window up there, like, open to you? Hold on. Let me go down to, like, sim level down here. Thank you for the compliments. I am very impressed with myself. It's so interesting. Okay. I am gonna just undo that last thing, though, because... It won't show my beams properly, and I don't really want to mess with that because the underside of this, the roof can't be painted. But I, I mean, it's kind of cool. Okay, so let me lower these down then because these were clipping through too much. So we'll go, oh no, hold on, back to here. And then we'll go down. Oh, we can't go down. Ooh. Okay, let's just see what it looks like if I do it at the level they're intended to be. Because I did technically, like, raise them up. Oh, no, it is letting me lower them. What? Hold on. Is that fine? All right, let's try this again. Oh, yeah, that looks better. That looks like it's actually hanging from the ceiling now. That is so cool, you guys, oh my gosh. I am like, kind of impressed. Oop, I'm dropping a lot of frames right now, sorry about that. Hopefully you don't get too much lag on here. Okay. So back to lighting this place up. Now, the next thing we're gonna have to do Sorry, I'm just checking to make sure that Twitch isn't entirely, like, stopped or something. Oh, no, it's not. Okay, it's still moving. That's good. Okay. We need more lights. We need more lights, of course. So we'll go down here to this level. Underneath here, I think we'll have lots of lamps and things like that. So let me go into the lighting section as well again. There's a specific lamp that I'm thinking of, and I don't even know if I actually have the pack for it, but it's so cool don't but I have something similar don't I oh yes this thing this is so the kind of thing that this person would have I mean it's like your head might hit it a little bit but whatever okay oh good there's no lag well it was weird because like I have twitch open as well as my OBS and sometimes I just look over and it's like completely frozen I'm like great well I hope it's not frozen for everyone so I just kind of have to hope for the best there okay so that one looks good what's this thing Whoa, that's cool. By the way, right now the Blooming Room kit is entirely free to download for The Sims. So, and The Sims is free to play. So you can get one free kit and The Sims if you download it. Hello, Havoc's Hideaway. Thank you for your first time chat. Welcome in. I think maybe a wall lantern would look good here. I don't know why I said it like that. A wall light, a sconce. How's it going? It's going quite well. We have made, well, we're in the process of making a like boho, farmhousey, interesting loft sort of build. So yeah, how is your day going? How is life? Okay, for this wall light, hmm, like this could work. No, nothing really lights up very well, unfortunately. Like. These wall lights have absolutely no power, which is really frustrating. Good so far, that's wonderful. I'm glad to hear. Maybe like these or something? No, those are a little, no. Hmm. And that's just kind of ugly, so. I think it's pronounced scone like ice cream scone. 
Oh, you mean, oh, you mean wall sconces. No, it's not scones. It's scones for sure. <laughs> I do love a good scone. I also, do you say scone or scone? Okay, wait, hold on. Oh my God, can I do a poll? I don't know if I'm allowed to do a poll yet. I'd love to do a poll where I say, is it, here, I'll do it phonetically, scone or scone? Just say it, <laughs> type it out because I say, I, I was always taught to say scone with the food and then sconces on the wall. But a lot of British people say scone and even some Canadian people say scone, but I've never heard sconces for the wall things like this. I don't think it is. Like if you look cone like tone, scone like, cone. well, all right, I guess I'm the minority today. That's fine, that's fine. Let's do one of these lights. I think the pink one is really cute. I'll put one of these here. I also wanna put one some in here as well. Da, 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 da. And we'll put one there. Cone, scone, and scown. <laughs> prone, prawn. Pr I think prawn is just prawn. You have no idea. That's totally fine too. I'm just making stuff up. Okay. This one can go. I'd like to have them on either. S oh, actually, I guess I could. I could put them up here. They're a little high, but that's okay. And then maybe I'll put these ones up a little bit higher to match. What were they up here or something like that? Where is it? Mm, oh, it's like right on this. Wait, is it on this line? No, it's not. It's like over here. A little off center, but that's fine. We can just kind of move this over too. Make it all a little off center. Scone for the... Scone for the pastry, sconce for the light. <laughs> nice. That is valid. Mmm. Hold on, we can have a light here. I was trying to figure out earlier how I could make their, like make something kind of cut off this ladder because they have to climb up the ladder from this way. Yes, this is me. I need a professional yapper emote. Um, I would love to do that. Once I get emotes on this channel, we are so making a yapping emote that just says, yep, 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 yep. Because there is a, oh my God, one of my favorite streamers right now, she has a yapping emote and it's so funny. It's, it's amazing. Is that a corgi, by the way? I think it's a corgi in that um, photo or whatever. The emote. What is this? What is this? Medieval brazier, brought brazier, floor lamp. Authentic recreation from LOD props. Comes straight from the set of Tournament of Honor. I feel like that's Game of Thrones. Includes realistic flame effects that are guaranteed not to burn your house down. I mean, that's pretty funny. I've never seen that before. Dancing dinosaur. Da, 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 da. What are you? What is this? Oh, interesting. I never knew that was a floor light. Corgi himself died this week, Doge. Um, actually, fun fact, Doge was not a Corgi. He is a um, Shiba Inu. He's one of the Japanese dogs. But I know, I was thinking that too, because he kind of looks like that. Brazier? Brazier. Well, no, that's like... That's... Mm. That may be a different thing. But yes, yeah, so rip to doge. I did see that. Oh, I wonder if there's a good miscellaneous light that I could use. I feel like we should have some candles in here, actually. Oh, we definitely need to have these everywhere. Oh my God, we're so doing this. We're so doing this. I've been just having way too much fun with all the million light types in here. Hold on, how can I do this? You don't know how you forgot that? That he was a Shiba Inu or that Brazier had another meaning? <laughs> okay. But yeah, rip rip him. Oh my god, we can layer them. Oh, we are so doing this. Do these have other colors? No, they don't. That's okay. 
I know this looks maybe a little bit much, but that's kind of the point. O M J. Whoa, I did not know there was literally so many. Okay, maybe three is enough. Frazier. My bad, Brazier is pronounced like Frazier. Ew. Yeah, I still don't know what they are. But I'm just like, like I've kind of heard of it. It's like a, um, it's like a torch kind of, I guess. I don't know. I don't really know how to explain it myself, to be honest. Okay, that looks pretty good. This is crazy. The amount of detail on this already and I'm not even like remotely near done yet. Okay, what else do we have? We have these candles, but those are a little bit much. We can get a bonfire in here or one of these guys. <laughs> no, that's fine. Okay. Oh, those do something kind of weird in, when you're down here. Eh, that's fine. Okay. It's still not really bright enough in here for my liking, so I might need to just cheat and put a couple of like debug lights in or something. Okay, debug. And then I want to do lighting, question mark? Yes, here they are. Okay. So it's a banana phone. Oh, brazier is a medieval light thing you can also use for barbecue. And it's a banana phone. See, when you say that, all I have in my head is like, does this work up here? These will disappear in live mode, by the way, so it should be totally fine. Um, all I have in my head is like, banana phone, banana phone. Da -da 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 -da. Like, is that what you're talking about? The guy who does the banana phone song? This isn't working. What am I thinking of? It's like this thing, right? This isn't lighting up the space, though, is the thing. Why? Oh, kind of is. Hold on. It kind of is. Ring, 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 ring. Banana phone. Yeah, you won't see that when you're in live mode. So I'm just going to put it in here maybe a couple of times, to be honest. Just because it's so dark in here. I don't know why it's so dark in here. I just want to be invisible, though, because it's annoying. Yes? Okay, nice. Wait, what brought that to mind? Brazier? Brazier? Doesn't really have anything to do with that, if I'm remembering correctly. Okay. You know, maybe I have to get a sim in here just to show what I mean by this. Let me save real quick. I should make that like a little sound bite once I get blurp installed. Okay, let me get a sim. A test sim to come in and just see what things look like. Can I make a sim to move in? Yeah, let's do that. Friendship is delayed. Oh, Sangula Oh my god. Okay, Ryland Faust, welcome to the world. Just a random thing you remembered. I love it. Okay, Ryland. You're gonna be my test sim today. No, he doesn't have the money. Okay, hold on. Just, we don't care about you anymore. Let me move out Judith Ward. And we're gonna move her in. No! <laughs> Why? Hold on, hold on. I need a name for my character in the next Fallout run. What is a female Irish name? Well, there's Saoirse, but that's a pretty generic one. My man really said, ooh, zingle me imnitas. Yeah, that's simlish for you. This isn't even a... The problem is, is that this isn't even a vacation lot, but it's not letting me move a sim in here. Can I manage households and just put someone in this lot anyway? Where's Ward? I don't know many Irish female names. I mean, I know there's like, 
There's one that's similar to like Chloe, but it has a bunch of like IGHs in it or whatever. Okay, let, can I just, can I just move you? No, 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 no. Hmm. Oh, hold on. Free real, no. Estate. That didn't work. Miguel Alucius Lamar Higginbottom. I'm not gonna lie, Havoc, because it doesn't really sound like an Irish women's name, <laughs> but I love it. <laughs> Maybe I'll make a sim named after that. BB dot move, unless that's a reference to something that I don't know. No, it's not that what I want. Hold on. BB dot, what is the free real estate cheat? One second. Free real estate cheat sims four. Free real estate on. Oh, I don't need a BB, that's why, okay. Okay, let me try one more time. Okay, free real estate is now on. So, if I move in a sim, will it work? Yabahorm Agonal. Here, I'm gonna name this person Miguel just for you. Havocs. I'll just do everything else random though. Miguel! <laughs> no! It's free real estate, I don't understand. It's supposed to be free real estate. Why? Okay, you know what? I think the issue is the fact that I'm just trying to play God here and I'm trying to build in Granite Falls. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save this to my library for now and then I'm going to move it to a lot that I can actually move into. <sighs> so sad. Oh, hello. Hmm. Havoc's Hideaway just followed. Welcome to the pod. Thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate that. Okay, so let's find a new world to go into. Probably just Newcrest. Um, where, how much space do I need for this? Is the question. How big are, or how big is this? 40 by 30, okay. Oh, oh God, build mode leg. Let's place this 40 by 30. 40 by 30, 30 by 20, 40 by 30. Well, it looks like Nava has a bunch of money. I don't know where she got $10 million from, but that'll do. Cool. The little bees are so cute. Yeah, I think they are really cute. Once I get emotes, those are gonna be my emotes. Um, I am gonna have like a little veggie garden and we're like snap peas because that's my name and also like for example if you say lurk it says snappy has gone into hiding to eat their vegetables and then also if i do like shout out to me i don't know if it'll do it properly Yeah, so it says, like, shout out to this person for being a sweet pea, and it's going to have my moats once I do them. So, <laughs> I don't know why. Oh, yeah, right, because I messed up the the thing that has the three stars. But anyways, it doesn't matter. But, yes, the little peas. Little peas in a pod. I don't own that little art, but I will make my own once I, once I hit things. Okay, so let me go to man Manage Worlds and actually play as, um, what's her face, this, this, person who has 10 million things or whatever you'll for sure get to 50 followers thank you so much i started streaming about a month ago so i started in the beginning of april well i guess that's now like a month and a half whoa that's loud no <laughs> no it's a thunderstorm okay well that's frustrating but basically if we tab in here yeah, just a month ago, I have always wanted to though. Whoa, this looks like really crazy in the rain. That's wild, okay. Let's go in, whoops, nope, not like that. 
Well, so far it's not looking bad. Whoops. Um, I'll definitely be putting a mailbox. They don't need to do that to me and be aggressive like that, but that's fine. Okay, so we got this little thing here. We got my bathroom. You know, very cute, very fun. My cluttered kitchen. I haven't forgotten about the pets, don't worry. Up here looks so good. Ugh, I love it. Very fun. But okay, right, yeah, the point of this was, as you can see, those debug lights are actually not visible when you're in this mode. So it's not a problem. And then you go out here to do your laundry in the pouring rain, which is just so great. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much for the welcome. I'm very excited to be starting. Up here we'll have my loft room. Obviously it's not done yet. But that's, uh, that's pretty promising. So let me um, go back into build mode. And the good thing about this is that I have a mod installed. Ew, the lighting is so terrible. There's no way I can stay here. The mailbox in the living room. Well, okay, so basically when you place down a lot without a mailbox, it randomly spawns one somewhere on the lot. So it just randomly spawned it here. Don't worry about that. <laughs> okay, let me just, this was, no, I didn't want to go to the gallery. Um, okay, let me go to manage worlds. I don't need to save anything. I was just showing you. I'll go back to Granite Falls for now because the weather was better and we just did it in build mode. Yeah, that was annoying. Okay. Back to the good lighting, which is why I came. Oh, thank you, Havix. That's very sweet of you. I will let you know if I do. Okay, back here, they didn't put... Yeah, they didn't put the um, mailbox in yet, which is good. Don't worry. We will make sure that doesn't happen. The pet stuff. Now, where am I going to put the pet stuff is the thing. Hmm. The lighting is actually kind of moody and sweet. Like, I, I don't I don't hate it. It's a little dark. So I might add a few more of the wall lights that I have on the first floor around. So I'll probably add one like in here or something like that. You did that with a small pond in your main save file. I'm trying to think what that was in reference to what I was just talking about. The mailbox or something? Arinor! Please, please. I'm gonna be sad. I'm gonna be so sad. I understand. It says my... <laughs> uh, no! Am I back? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Thank God. Ugh. <laughs> Sad times. No. What is happening? Oh no. Oh no. Okay. I'm very sorry. I'm seeing that it's struggling. I can't tell why. Because, oh no, hold on. Uh, I, I, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. Oh, chat is delayed too. And oh, interesting. 
Interesting. Okay, it's saying... <laughs> Well, this may be a good place to end for today. I have been going for about two hours. I'd like to have streamed longer, but it's it's not having a fun time. So... Oh, it's stabilizing now? Oh, I don't know. I mean, it still says that the dropped frames are really high, but my internet is like perfectly fine and like no one else is, is using the internet to a capacity that that would be a problem. Hmm. Okay, well, anyways, if you can see me, I'm gonna say my little goodbye. Um, thank you so much. Oh my God, thank you for following my TikTok. No one has seen anything on there. I think I have one follower. Um, but anyways, uh, I appreciate your follow today, Havix. And, oh, it is fine now? Is it? I feel like we're, we're... Okay, I don't know what's going on, but maybe it's okay right now. Well, I don't know. I've lost steam, but I appreciate it. Here, I'll just go back to just chatting. Okay. Again, thank you so much, Havix, for the follow today. Thanks to anyone who dropped in and just lurked and had a little look at what I was doing. I'm having a lot of fun with this build. For some reason, every time I try to do this build, it's quite cursed. Like every single time I've done it, my stream has crashed. It doesn't usually crash on other streams. I actually promise. It's just this one. I don't know why this build is a bit cursed, but... We will finish it. I'm probably gonna finish this build on Tuesday and tomorrow, of course, is my all lot challenge with Dirk Hose around. If you wanna know about that, this is what it is. So that's the vibes. Basically, um, I'm gonna say probably goodbye for today. I need to make my dinner and stuff like that. But yes, I'll be back tomorrow at 7 p.m. EST if you'd like to um, stick around for what I just put in the chat, the, you know, exclamation mark Dirk for the information there and uh yeah feel free to check out my youtube as well it's snappy sims there's a link to it i mean you said you already checked out my tiktok which bless you that's the sweetest thing ever <laughs> uh, i just post my shorts that i post on youtube there so yeah there's some fun highlights there okay have a good rest of your day everyone and i will say goodbye for now then Bye bye